Welcome to Technique Friday with Els. Today I'll be showing you different techniques with our silk microfine glitter using ornament set 1. So this is the die set, so it comes with uh, three different overlays, one solid and one top piece. And these are actually two of the original ones, you see, so those are two of the different overlays that I used. But I'm not going to use the overlays today, I'm going to show you another fun technique. So basically I only use this part today and then that top piece. So I'll put the others away. So as you can see, I have all different ornaments and they're all using our silk microfine glitter. And what I do, so anytime you use your tape, so your clear double-sided adhesive for the lace technique that we showed before, you have that release sheet that comes off, you see? So here I have the tape on white cardstock, so this is the sticky part. And every time you do something with the lace or with the tape, a lot of times you have this left over. So that's the release sheet. And I can run only that release sheet through my die cutting machine and then make stencils that I can use in combination with our glitter. Here you see, so here I have circles. So I use the circle as a stencil. So I'm just showing you a few. This one, I have, this is the lollipop die from uh, Josette's Designs, you see. So I had those stencils, I used those before and I use them now as a stencil for those ornaments. It's really, it's, there's so many possibilities, it's endless. So this one, I use the snowflake die, you see, so I have a snowflake stencil. And as long as I keep this piece in one piece, like that stencil, I can use that over and over and over again. And here I have, that's the uh, leaf and berry branch die, you see, I used to make a stencil. And then um, this one, I actually used the... Uh, the leftover, so it comes off from the ornament itself, the sheet, to use as a mask. You see, so I just put it in different places. So there are so many possibilities. And then this one, I actually just made that one and I love it. That is one of the uh, fancy frame edges from Karen Burniston, so from the Pop It Up collection. So you can use all your frame edges to make beautiful stencils, as I have here. See, so I'm going to use that one first, and then I'm going to show you another one. So here I have my coffee filter, so I already die cut my stencil and here I have the ornament. So this is white cardstock with the clear double sided adhesive on top and I used uh, this one to die cut. And then I also cut already these pieces, those are the top pieces. You see I cut those out of the shimmer sheets. So this is a piece of shimmer sheets and I cut all those top pieces, no tape on the back. And if you die cut that piece, you need to use a metal adapter plate or a precision plate from Sizzix to run that through if you want to die cut shimmer sheets. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to lift this part up and I'm going to use my fine pointed scissors. And I'm going to, because you can clearly see a line here where the top piece will come. And I'm going to take my top piece and I'm going to glue that on. So just lay it on here, line it up nicely and put it on there. So then I have my top and that's also my handle to start working with the glitter. And sometimes I wait till the end but with this technique I put it on first. Now I'm going to take off my release sheet. I'm going to use that uh, fancy frame edge from Karen Burniston. And then I'm also going to use a release sheet to press this down. So that's also a piece of release sheet because you need to make sure that it's pressed down well because if you don't do that your glitter will run underneath, of course. Here you go. And then I'm going to take, so this is the leftover, you see? So this piece, you see, that this was cut out of this. So I have a leftover piece as well. That's this one. So you see that here, you see? You see the other half here. So I'm going to line that up here at the top. And then the other one I'm going to take and I'm going to offset it a little bit, you see? So I put a little bit, but you can line it up perfectly or you can just offset it a little bit. So lay it down here and then again I'm going to take that release sheet to press this down. So now I can start with the glitter. So I'm going to take the uh, Diva first, the 663, that's one of the new colors. Because we added, as you might know, like 21 new beautiful colors. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit, take my brush, brush it off. And when I work with the release sheet, what I'm doing, I use the Swiffers as well to clean that up because when you lift up that release sheet, you want to make sure it's clean. Because you don't want any speckles of that Diva. You see, so I just polish this in first. And then I'm going to take my Swiffer and clean this up. Then I can take off this piece. You see, so I take off the release sheet. And I can go 
to my next color which is the lavender eyes one of the new colors as well and that's a fantastic beautiful color and I just sprinkle that on top it and because I already polished that diva that lavender eyes will not stick to the diva anymore also polish you see how nice and shiny it gets don't know if the camera catches it but it's absolutely fantastic so clean out my coffee filter and now I'm going to go to the light gold which is also one of the new colors so I'm going to lift this up I'm going to sprinkle some light gold also again brush it off and polish so you need to make sure that you brush off and polish in between each color that's that one so now I'm going to lift this up see and now I'm going to use my warm diamond and as you can see this stencil is in one piece so I can make a hundred ornaments with that piece brush it off a little bit and then with the diamond I normally don't brush it off over the coffee filter because I don't want any specks of color in there I brush it off now and then polish it and as you can see then I added some glitter dots and of course I always tell people you know you cannot live without glitter dots because they are fantastic to work with uh, so I take my fine pointed tweezer here and I'm going to add some glitter dots here I did them in the middle and then you have your beautiful ornaments so you can put those on cards so put that aside and then there's another one I would like to show you that is this one I can do it in different colors so these so that's with the berry branch so again I'm going to take this trim this off and again I can see the line here easily to trim this just line it up so again the, the base of the ornament is white cardstock with the clear double sided adhesive on top so I made a stencil um, using this one and I kind of made the same curve here so what I did I trimmed, trimmed these pieces off at one piece so trim this side off lay it on a piece of release sheet and traced it with a permanent marker and then cut this angle so I have exactly the same angle as my branch so I'm going to take this off then I'm going to take my branch and I'm going to line it up and I kind of want to because this one lines up really nicely it's kind of has the same curve here as the ornament itself take your piece of your release sheet press this down and then I have this one so it has the same curve so I'm going to line it up on my branch here I'm going to press it down but it will not be uh, pressed down where that branch is itself so what you need to watch when you do this one you need to make sure you pour your, you pour your glitter this way and not this way because there are little pockets here so if you do it this way the glitter will get in between so you need to hold it like this and pour it this way so I'm going to take this one the blue streak it's also one of the new colors and you will find if you have them already the new colors they are absolutely fantastic and they combine really well with the, with the existing colors so tap it off there you go look at that you must be able to see how that gets how that gets sparkly when you polish it it's fantastic then I take this off you see so now this is all sticky except where the branch is so now I can go to my second color which in this case will be the uh, brush pewter sprinkle that brush it off and I'm anxious to see what you all come up with because I'm just showing you a few and I know for sure that you will have other ideas as well you see so now I have this one and now I can take off my branch here I have the warm diamond here but probably for this one normally I would use the cool because I have the blue and the silver but I have the warm here but if you have the cool at home you can use the cool diamond and then I brush it off a bit polish it and then here I have the um, glitter dots again and these are the transparent with the silver outline I'm just going to take some glitter dots here and put those on here and then I'm also going to add some of the uh, turquoise one I'm kind of doing I'm going to do the turquoise one in the on the other side you see so I use the diamond ones in the on the side where the blue is and then I'm going to take my because that's really fun so these are the glitter dots and the turquoise ones so turquoise silver with a silver outline you see I'm going to put these on this side and then that ornament is done so endless possibilities I hope you liked it thank you for watching um, 
Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and we also will give you some suggestions for other YouTube uh, videos that you might like using our silk microfine glitter.